Happening now, students from across the country are testing their engineering skills at the fourth annual autonomous vehicle competition. Well, that's a fancy way of saying they're pitting drones against each other in different challenges. Our Don White is live at the University of Texas at Arlington, where the competition got underway this morning. So Don sounds like some really smart kids are coming to North Texas. Where are they coming from? So, Robbie, I'm here now at Maverick Stadium where the competition is underway. We have seen drones flying. No crashes yet. And the students are from here in Texas, also Alabama and Mississippi. And for more on this event and the reason behind it, I'm joined now by David Wetz, your electrical engineering professor. Yes, ma'am. So tell me a little bit about the different challenges that the students are competing in. Yes, we've challenged students with building an autonomous ground vehicle that runs obviously along the ground and then an aerial vehicle. Uh, as you see everywhere these days, we've got these autonomous vehicles driving everywhere. You hear the Tesla autonomous cars. Uh, here in Arlington, we have autonomous cars all over the place. And so they're tasked with kind of learning how the, the ground vehicle can uh, talk to the, to the aerial vehicle and they can detect each other uh, and drop water on each other. We've kind of made it a water water. Gunfight. And also joining me is the de Dean of Engineering, Mr. Crouch. Yes. How do you hope that this event can improve technology for all of us in the country? Because we uh, generate teams of students who are right to go into the workforce immediately they get out of here. This is their culminating event, and so they're just ready to go. How have you seen students reacting to this? Are they nervous? Are they excited? What are the emotions? Oh, they're definitely nervous. I mean, even though it's a fun project, it's semi a final exam for them as well. So they're always nervous. They've been doing this for about nine months, in most cases, working on this. Uh, so this is the culmination of that nine months of work, and they're excited to, to see it work and hopefully win a competition. Thanks very much, gentlemen, for joining us. And in the next half hour, we'll be talking to one of the students competing today. And Robbie, they are very smart. I was talking to one of them a couple minutes ago who was saying he took three different classes of calculus, geometry. I don't know how well we would have done, but at least, you know, we have them doing this. For now, live in Arlington, Don White, CBS News, Texas. All right. Thank you, Don.